the genesis for the Team Up movie. Seven Samurai, the epic film released in 1954, directed by Akira Kurosawa, and starring a host of very talented Japanese actors whose names I don't feel like butchering. There really isn't a bad performance by anyone in this sprawling epic. Seven Samurai tells the story of seven roaming samurai who come together to protect a town against a band of raiders. The raiders want to steal the village's food for the winter. The villagers go in search for samurai to protect their village, but can only offer food for service, when most samurai only work for money. The seven samurai who end up taking the job have varying degrees of experience, but do their best to ensure the survival of the town. I'll admit, watching a three hour long black and white subtitled film isn't for everyone. It takes some commitment to sit down and watch this type of film. There is nothing wrong for anyone who does not want to do this. But if you have any curiosity to see where the actual team-up movie genre came from, then this is worth your time and effort. By the end of the film, I wasn't even noticing the subtitles, and was just engaged with the story. The characters and plot may be standard for films today, but films today get their cues from this movie. I loved all of the characters in the movie, and each one gets their moment to shine within the film. Kurosawa was a masterful director, and was able to give each character depth and purpose within the movie. I don't know what I expected the first time I watched Seven Samurai, but it wasn't the touching and reflective story I found within the film. The film was released nine years after the end of World War II, and I would be surprised if it didn't draw some influence from veterans from the war and what they struggled with. The characters in the film want to help the people, but they feel separated and can't integrate with them. Throughout the story, the villagers are both terrified and happy that the samurai are helping them. When they first come to the village, they hide their women and children because they are worried how the samurai will treat them. They are quick to run and ask for help though when a fake alarm is sounded and they think the raiders are on the attack. The warriors are out of place in the village, but they do feel the need to be honorable. And in the end, they are the ones who suffer and lose and the villagers get to go on living. The pacing of the film was something that I was also surprised by. The film doesn't seem like it's three hours long. The only part of the film that seemed to drag just a bit was at the start when the villagers are trying to recruit the samurai. This was still interesting and I enjoyed it, but it did take some patience since you have to read the subtitles. After this, the story is paced in a way that you're never bored while watching. I was invested in each character's story and wanted to know what would eventually happen when the raiders showed up. The action is of course dated for when the movie was made, but I still found myself on the edge of my seat when the action started to ramp up. This is accomplished by how well the film builds toward the ending climax. The samurai carefully plan their defense, and you are invested in seeing if their plan is going to work out. Each samurai has their own specific skill set, and it is put to use during the final battle. I also wasn't expecting the comedic moments found throughout the film, and I laughed quite a bit while watching. Toshiro Mufune, is arguably the most iconic actor to come out of Seven Samurai, and he has most of the comedic moments found throughout the film, and he plays them brilliantly. He is also one of the more tragic figures found within the film, and he's able to play both of these aspects really well. Seven Samurai is simply an excellent movie. I understand those who don't want to watch a film over three hours with subtitles, but if you are at all just a little bit curious about the movie, give it a chance. If you allow yourself to become engaged with the story, the subtitles will disappear, and the runtime will go by without notice. It is that good of a movie, and is worth multiple viewings. I admit, I was initially hesitant to give the film a try because of the runtime and the language, but I'm glad I did, and I think most will after they are done watching. Let me know if you have watched Seven Samurai and what you thought. If you haven't, would you consider giving the classic a try? Comment and let me know. Like, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching.